that's so cool. We traveled 0.1 kilometers in 2 minutes and 38 seconds. So it's May 5th today, right Ash? May 5th. May 5th is Global Bird Day and we are participating here and we're going to spend all day birding and do a big count so uh, obviously we'll be about the photography as usual but also i um, going to get a big list of birds and identify as many as possible which is perfect timing because it is early spring and uh, we get a lot of migrants right now and uh, a lot of um, visitors have returned. So here we go. Here we go. So I, th I think the way this is going to work today, Ash, you're going to have that app going pretty much all day, logging everything as it comes. Yep. And then hopefully you get a chance to take some photos as well. See that turn over there? The which? The turn. Oh yeah, he's... Here he comes. Does it look oh. like... He, he might splash down. We should, we should try to get some photos. They always tease you. They do the, the hesitant, like they're gonna dive in and you get ready and then they keep going. An aggressive swan here terrorizing the Canada geese <laughs> and you'll just see the pair of, of geese and one kind of looks over your shoulder and they're like ah! he's coming up right behind them they start, they start <laughs> to, to pedal the running on water Ash is shooting a turn with a fish in his mouth and we just saw uh, a bird that's always here and we still hadn't seen him yet a great blue heron way in the distance flying over if you haven't seen a great blue heron in flight before it's a sight to behold it's like Basically a pterodactyl flying by. Flying dinosaur. Flying dinosaur with his legs straight out the back. Uh, kind of funny looking. How many red wings do you think we saw? I'd say there was 15. Okay. Maybe, no, 20. 16. Okay, 16. I think that's accurate. Yep. Yeah. So what's on the list? Yeah. Typicals, mallards, couple swans, Canada geese, herd of red belly, herd of kingfisher, lots of song sparrows. Turns, a great blue heron. Yeah, fairly active. I mean, no great pictures at this place, but. We saw a plover of some sort too, a shorebird. Yeah. Which we need to confirm in the car in our bird book. That's right. So, one more to add to the list once we confirm it. We're rusty. We should know that one. <laughs> All right, well, a good start. We are on to location two. Oh. Just heard our first <laughs> yellow warbler of the year. Uh, ran into some birders that saw, so they uh, heard some warblers. Yep. I'm assuming a yellow rump is going to be here. Maybe a blue gray nut catcher. Maybe. Wouldn't be surprised. You hear it? Sweet, sweet, I am so sweet. Yeah. It's a yellow warbler. No, I know. It's so good to hear them again. Ah, spring. There it is. Yellow rump. What was that? that? 
bunch of firsts here at our second location, including yellow warbler, yellow rump warbler. Uh, I think Baltimore we've got Oriole. a Baltimore Oriole over here. We've got a downy, but not. Downy woodpecker, but a lot of the uh, spring migrants have returned. Lots of tree swallows. We have re-remembered re what the yellow rump warbler's call is. There it is there. That's the one thing after not seeing these birds for so long, we have to relearn all the calls and train the ears again to uh, figure out what species we're hearing. So it's always a good test before Peely. Yeah, it's just kind of our trial run. And to be honest, it's probably a good idea. I feel a little rusty. Just even uh, getting the camera out again. It's been a while. But it, man, it feels good to be out here. We can hear the intricate call of the house wren. He's in here somewhere. Sounds high. Is that a car alarm I hear? Or is it a northern mockingbird? <laughs> He's doing an uh, R2-D2 impression. <laughs> Add it to the list. Blue-gray gnat catcher. Which is no surprise considering the amount of gnats that are in There's enough gnats for everybody. <laughs> Big Day, which is what we're participating in today. It's the uh, largest biodiversity citizen science project with over a hundred million checklists or submissions every year. And the data collected as part of eBird and Global Big Day are used to make decisions about conservation. Um, information is used for peer-reviewed journals and also contributes to a lot of uh, student projects worldwide. So it's, it's a pretty important initiative and it helps to give conservationists the information that's needed around all different types of species of birds around the world. So we've wrapped up our day now. We didn't uh, get the biggest list in the world, but it was uh, definitely an exciting day to see some of those spring migrants returning. Yeah. This is our first time participating, I guess, officially in uh, Global Big Day in terms of going on eBird and logging our lists and everything like that. Um, so again, the idea is just to um, rather than focus on individual birders, kind of bring it into a team setting so that you're logging all the teams, all the individuals around the world for one spectacular day of bird large counting. amounts of bird lists and bird counting and collecting data. So it's pretty easy to get involved. Uh, if you're interested in participating in Global Big Day for next year, it's pretty simple. All you need is an eBird account and a spot where you can go and watch birds, with, whether it's you know your backyard, a local park, you can scale it up as little or as big as you want. And uh, as long as you have a pair of binoculars or a camera or just you, um, bring a friend along with you perhaps. Yeah, we just That's hit up our, our three basic hot spots in the area and uh, we were able to see a bunch of uh, great birds there and participate in Global Big Day. So that was a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll do that every year now. Yeah, it's kind of nice to be part of the big cause and yeah and be a part of the over 20,000 people participating in Global Big Day and knowing that you're contributing to bird conservation and all the stuff that's behind it. So it's, it's nice to be a part of that. Yep, we're all brushed up now and we're ready for our big birding trip coming up in next week. In three days.